all right, everybody, I'm sure you can figure out what I was looking for in this Baker Creek seed catalog right here. Uh, I'm looking for sweet potatoes. Now, <laughs> apparently, uh, sweet potatoes don't come like regular potatoes where you could just get a seed potato, plant it, and call it a day. You have to create or buy sweet potato slips, which is basically a plant that comes off of a sweet potato with roots that you can then uh, that you can then plant in a garden, and then that's how you grow sweet potatoes. I have not researched why a sweet potato can't come like this, but uh, I will once I'm done with this video, actually. So what do you need in order to grow sweet potatoes? Well, you have to have sweet potato slips, which is what I just mentioned. And now I have gone online and looked, and there's a few companies that will actually sell you sweet potato slips of a bunch of different varieties of sweet potatoes, which I'm actually going to do so I have different varieties of sweet potatoes. But I thought, why not grow my own sweet potato slips? I did not do this last year. I have done some research on it. I know there's a few different ways of growing your own slips. And um, I thought without doing a video showing all these different ways and with the weather the way it is, I don't really want to be outside doing this. So I thought I would do one method. Uh, about five days ago, I started this. And basically, you just take a sweet potato like I've done here. Put toothpicks in at the pointy end that's facing up, the dull end down in the water. And every four to five days, change out the water. And what will happen um, is the sweet potato will start growing its own roots. Out of those roots will come slips. And <clears throat> I'm going to bring the camera in here in a minute and show you all. But... For this sweet potato, what I've decided to do is, since I have a bunch of seeds started on my seed trays in there, on the heat mat with the grow lights, I put this sweet potato on the heat mat under the grow lights, and uh, the water is actually a little warm. It's not cold. It's a little bit above room temperature, actually, but it's actually producing roots. So let me get the camera in here and show you. So if you see right there, there's the first root. And then right below it, which I'm not sure because of the lighting in here. Oh, right there. Right there. I have another root growing. So this method might take a while for it to produce slips, but that's all right. I have plenty of time. But this root right here has grown, what is that, an inch, inch and a half, somewhere in there, in the last three days alone. So what I'm going to do for sweet potatoes is I'm going to create a sweet potato playlist, and I'm going to basically do updates on this sweet potato and how it's, how it's coming along. As it starts to put on the slips, I'm going to document it, show it. Uh, if this thing totally crashes and burns like I always do on this channel, I'll show it and learn from it because that's what gardening is. So, hey, this was a simple video. This was a quick video. It is cold outside right now for Texas. I don't really want to be out there. It's too cold and windy to be doing videos out there. Well, it's too windy to be doing videos out there. You wouldn't hear anything that I'm saying. So I'm going to be doing the next handful of videos inside for the most part. Um, I don't ideally like doing videos in the house or in the garage. And even in the garage, it's too cold or I'd be out there. But um, just bear with me. It's that time of year where it's cold here in Texas, at least cold and windy to where I can't be outside filming. And um, But I'm going to still keep putting out content. So, what do you all think? You think this method is the best method to use? For creating your own sweet potato slips or there is a method where you lay the sweet potato down in like a potting mix half lay the potato sweet potato down half covered and then let it grow now i might do that in the spring or maybe next month when it's warmer and i can actually just keep it outside and let nature do its thing outside but for now 
this was just an experiment to see if this would actually work and um, it, 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 it's working. So I'm excited to see where this goes because like I mentioned in the last video, I am going to create a sweet potato bed strictly for sweet potatoes. So I'm anxious to get this going, uh, be able to put my own slips that I grew out there as opposed to buying. But one other thing I wanted to say is if you do decide to do this method, make sure you get an organic sweet potato. Uh, you don't want to get, especially if you go to like a store, uh, if it doesn't say organic, then there's a chance that they might have sprayed the uh, potato with a uh, chemical that stunts or keeps roots from growing. I was kind of worried about this sweet potato, but it's actually taken off. So uh, I think I think we're good on this. Uh, yeah, hey, that's the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, learned anything from it, uh, want to continue watching the progress of this, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, check me out on Facebook and Instagram, Down Home Backyard Gardening. And uh, as always, shine bright, harvest hard. Bye. Warning. Doing the next. Um, um, yeah. So I'm going to be doing the. Yeah. <clears throat>